Hello, welcome to Stampin' with Jilly. This is Jilly Bling. Look what cards I have for us today. Um, and you know, I always like to give the person credit who made them. And I'm looking really fast. This one is Stamp Your Art Out. And she made this card, and then I did it also in um, Call Me Clover. And then this one is done in mint. I think she might have done hers in a, um, like maybe a pool party, but I wanted the green to be more for the stems. But lately, everything I've been doing with Ornate Garden, I have been coloring this bouquet or the daisies, which I love, but I'm kind of tired of coloring. So this one I'm hoping is quite a bit easier. So do, do I look blingy in this, um, time of quarantine um, so my nails are bad and I pretended like I didn't care because there's really not anything I could do about it but just so you know there is this stuff called color street and my friend Pam she used to be a um, distributor demonstrator and she um, I got this one from her and she has a few left. She doesn't sell it anymore, but you know how when you buy more inventory than what you need. And so I thought, you know what? I'm just so pleased with myself and I'm feeling so sparkly. I thought I would show you what these are like. So you get 18. It's like a big long strip of these. And you peel off one side, you peel off the other side. And then look, these are all kind of big. I have little bit, little fingers but you just put it on there and it sticks and then here's for the other side so if your nail is only so long you could use one little piece for two nails anyhow i'll put her information on my blog and she sent me a few pictures of um the color she has remaining but i'm feeling really sparkly and fancy so i thought i'd share with you i think it's really cool oh and after you get the sticker thing on then you just file the end, and then it matches your nail perfectly. And that's all that's to it. And then the house doesn't stink. Like it. Okay, back to these projects. So, here are the papers. And this one is mint, so let's do mint. I couldn't decide between mint and the clover. I like both of them. Which direction? Oh, you know what? Let me show you on the inside. So this one, I used all the different, all kinds of dyes from, um, finally, I'm using my borders, which is where this comes from. I'll show you that in a minute. Then this is a border. This is ornate layers. And this is border, and that's border. Nice, huh? And then these are the stamp sets. This one comes from here. And of course, the words come from ornate things. Okay. But, here, I'll leave that open. Look at this one. So the papers, when they start out, the inside papers, they perfectly fit together if you were layering it like this. Just standard. But then if you want to make them fancy, there's this die. I have washi tape on it. And because the die is wider than this little die for the white paper, um, you'd have to trim your white paper. And I was about to do that before I put together this Call Me Clover card. And I thought I kind of like it off center like that. So with the papers, I'm going to run it through the Big Shot and have the edge done on those. So what else do I have? Okay, so you know about this. You know about that. I like how that one turned out. Kind of staggered look. At first I thought this was a little bit too much, but I like it. Okay, so we talked about these two. This paper is for here on the top, and it's just put down. This, at first I didn't notice it on her sample, but... See, let me pull out my sparkly nails. See how there's vellum on here? 
And the only way I figured that out was when I laid this ornate border on here. It blended in so well, you couldn't see it. And then I looked close up and I zoomed in. Oh, she had a piece of vellum. And I like vellum. And then the little vellum flowers. It's kind of monochromatic. I like it. Okay, so this one's for the top. This one is for also the top. This paper is to cut out these three. There's three different sizes. So when I hold them up here, or you know what might be easier, is if I put it on there. So see how there's a large, medium, and small? That is these little dies. Large, medium, small. So you cut those out of vellum for the front of the card. Okay, all these pieces. You know how magic TV happens. Okay, there they go. This is for the top that I stamped the words on and put the little flower bunch. I keep using this one over and over. It's a perfect size, I think. Okay. And then, finally, ornate border dies. So, you'll do one of each of these per card. This one is this one here. And these sprigs, those come from this die. So if you look at it close up, you're probably wondering what is all this stuff but here's where the little branches come out you know what? let me see if I could show you one that's already kind of cut out here we go so the bold one for the front of the card is there this one I'm going just for these three different stems, but look how pretty that is. And look at all the detail. And I'm not sure yet what's going on with this right here, but look how delicate that is. I'm sure I'll figure it out by the next card. See that? And then look how nice these little flowers are. I wonder if all this, I bet you all this is supposed to come out. And that could be the edge of your card, but that's beautiful. That's from this die. You can't really tell they're looking at the die. Okay, so I will cut out those borders in the mint. And Magic TV. Voila. Okay, so let's get to making this project. Um, mint paper is the paper base. And I will list all the products I used on my blog with little um, thumbnail pictures so that you can order it all. Because I know you want it. Keep using it over and over. Okay, and then next, look at sparkly. Um, next is the vellum. So one thing when you use vellum, I'll show you. You can see the adhesive through the vellum, which is a problem. But because I know the center section is going to be covered with different layers, it's okay if I put this vellum right on here. And I'll show you what I mean by you can... I didn't get that centered. I'm blinded by the sparkle. Okay, that's better because I have a little border going all the way around. Okay, so, now when you look at the card base, you could see where the adhesive is, but all the different layers are gonna cover it up, so we're good here. Otherwise, it's challenging. You have to put adhesive underneath wherever you put accessories onto the card. Okay, then is this border you have it this way, those bold flowers, or you have it over this way. I think I like it that way because I like all this um, little detail. And when I did the first card, I just took adhesive and I just ran it across. But then I saw the adhesive through these little flowers, 
and I don't like that. So, glue. I like glue. I'm just going to put it at the top. It's okay if it's floating a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly stuck down. Oh, and the nail things. Pam said they're 10 bucks for a pack. Um, and then add shipping on too. Because I know everyone wants their nails done. Because we've all been missing it. Okay, there it is. I'm going to let the glue start to evaporate and then I'll really make sure that it's stuck down. Okay, while I'm doing other things. There, all my tools. Okay, so now this is for the inside. So I'll set it off to the side for a minute. I'm going to stamp on thanks ever so much. It's probably dried by now or dry enough. And I see a little bit of the glue coming through, but that's okay. Where's my rectangle? My little rectangle crumb cake paper. I could put that on. So that I'm just going to put on with adhesive and flat. Because I'll have the white um, ornate um, layers piece with the words on it, I'll have that popped up. Okay, so we have that. So now for the words. I have it on Stamparatus. If ever you have little um, dots from when you run the big shot through, if your cutting plates are not brand new, sometimes it leaves a little a couple freckles laying around. This one looks pretty good, but previous one was bad. So say that there were dots on there. Just take your adhesive remover and it picks up any of the Litter, little paper fibers from the Big Shot cutting plates. Okay, so for the words, oh, I have this here. Oh, if you don't have Stamparatus, it's really nice to have one, especially if your hands kind of wiggle a little bit when you're concentrating going to stamp. Having Stamparatus makes all the difference. And there's grid paper that perfectly fits inside the Stamparatus, and it can be inches or metric however you like. Um, but I invested in one pad of it and it's still lasting me. I love it. Okay, so Stamparatus, here we are. Here is this. I got ink on it, but that's okay. And so on this plate, I have the ever so much. So here, let me flip it over. So I could start with the things. Thanks. I like to have a little prop under there. Okay. Fingers aren't dirty. I don't want to get ink on this. So looking at where, oh, which way am I going to do this? I'm going to do it this way. So I stamped it on here purposely. So I'm thinking I want it to be, oh, I want it to be off to this side over here. So I will put it, I'm just looking at where it is. Did I do that one that low? Oh, that's fine. That's good. I'm going to use Memento ink. And what's good about Stamparatus is if I don't get a good solid image, which it turned out just fine, but say that it was a little bit freckled here or I missed inking it over there, I could ink it again. It remained in place because I used the magnet and I could stamp it again. And if you have the shakes, um, you don't have to worry about it. I'll show you. Because the hinge part does all the stabilizing. All you do is close the door and push it down. And also, I lined up my words on the grid paper so I know that they're straight. So if I stamped it and I noticed it's kind of going downhill or uphill, I could change the placement of the polymer. And when you have your stamparatus, this foam rubber 
is supposed to be used when you're using the polymer stamps and when you use the rubber stamps because they already have a cushion on them see right here they have the rubber on it you don't need to use the foam pad okay I just keep mine in all the time I like it okay so the words are done good I could put this up memento so for the little stems there are three different sizes there is the big one <laughs> and you know when I was doing this card I was thinking one of them I duplicated this one here I did two of these let's see do I have another because there's three different styles let me see if I can find them I have a few extras cut over here but this isn't going to work I'm just going to have to improvise with these three which is fine it's all going to work out fine but like I was saying there's three different styles that's a big one so see how this one the top of it's leaning over that way and this one, the top of it is leaning over this way. So one, two, three. And I have one more over there. But the reason I show you that is because on this card, I used one, three, one. So on this card, I have one, three, three. One, three, three. It's okay. I'm just going to put it here. Okay, so now that you know that there's three different styles, I'm going to stick them on here. And I think the best way to do it is using glue. My phone is ringing, but I'm not going to answer it right now. Okay. So here's this one, and for the layout, I like it kind of off to the side. And I have to think about where are the vellum flowers going to go. So this one, the vellum flower will go over all the ornate um, layers, which is okay. It's very dainty. This one I'm going to have, put it right on top there. I don't want it to be in the way of the words. Okay. And after the glue starts to evaporate a little bit, I'll pull it down. And the very tip of all these little branches, I haven't been putting glue. Well, using these, it's, I think the end result will be fine, but it's a little congested there in the middle. Oop. Okay. So, this is going to need a little more attention here in a minute. So now for the vellum flowers, which are right here, I'll use a glue dot. glue dots to hold the vellum flower down and then I'll put one of the gilded gems on. I could use colored rhinestones but I really like the gilded gems. So this one I'm going to have the center of the flower be up a little bit higher than the branch. And this one I want it to stick over here to take up some of the room and all that white space. This one well, don't do what I did. This one's going to go right here. See, it would have been better if I had all the different branches, but it's okay. You know what 
I kind of like the little branches sticking up like that. It gives it a little bit more dimension. Oh, and there's one other thing. The, um, here, hold on. These little flowers. Look at this. You know what I'm doing? Look at that. See how it perfectly fits on there? So it's a large, a large. Over here is a medium. And I could get that to match perfectly, but you know where I'm going with this. So if you had this in a neutral color, then you could have your flowers in like a really bright, bright color. I don't know. Isn't that cute? Yep. Oh, you can see that one fits perfectly. They all do. It's just I have to get them lined up. Cute idea. Okay, so back to putting these on. Um, the big one will go at the top. The medium one will go over here. And the little one will go to the inside. I think. I don't know that there's a right or wrong. Gilded gems. So I'm going to use a large one. I've been neglecting these large ones. I've been using the small ones like crazy. Okay, so there's a big one. And a medium one. Can go here. And the small one can go there. I'm trying to cover up those holes. Okay, done with that. <laughs> the glue dot's sticking. So, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? So simple, so classic. Okay, so now I'll put it on the card using dimensionals. And there's somewhere really safe here. Dimensionals. Okay, so the front is done. So now for the inside, you made my day. Nothing. How about, should I do the same words? Or should I try something different? I'll do the same words. So I have this on Stamparatus too. All ready to go. So to do the little scroll thing at the bottom, I want one right here, and using the grid paper, I'm lining it up. I'll use it with this heavy line, the five inch line. And you know what, I don't think I cleaned that. Clean now. Okay. So, oh, my fingers are wet. stuff everywhere. Okay, so this card that I'm making is mint, so I will use the mint ink pad. Oops, that's a little close to the edge. But it's okay. And now to do this other one, I'm going to try to get it close to the edge once again so that they're similar. And I was using the um, stamped image on the grid paper to help me with placement. Well, it's a little bit off, but I think it's fine. Okay, so there are the little scrolly things. You made my day is on the other side um, of this plate. So that I'll use the Memento ink. And you my, made my day. It's going to go right in the middle. So looking at it there, I'll slide this in place. Turn the plate over. 
So if you already have a Stamparatus, um, Stamparatus will be continued with the new catalog, but I found out that they're not selling extra plates. So if you want extra ones, get them before they're gone. Okay, and using polymer, I have to have that foam pad. I kept the foam pad on there even though I was using the, the clear with the red rubber. It, it all works out. Okay, so done with this one. Actually done with all the stamping. So time to assemble the inside. So this one, I think I'll do that stagger thing again. I'll have it up a little bit high. And I think I told you on yesterday's video that snail adhesive, they're coming out with a different one. And it looks like it comes in two strengths. One of them um, to me is reminiscent of Fast Fuse. And then the other one looks like it's um, like this, like snail. So there's two different strengths. Can't wait to give them a try. Okay, so it doesn't fit there. So I'm going to put it up a little higher and pretend like I planned it. So it has that staggered look. It's fancy. Okay, there it is. No coloring. Very cute. What do you think? I like it. Okay, thanks for tuning in. If you can, hit the button off to the right that says subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.